listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Cause I just wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. I wanna love better, sleep better. Yeah, I wanna feel so aligned. Is chemistry or compatibility more important? Compatibility is more important to me than love. I actually don't even look for love at the beginning, actually, when it comes to relationship. I look for the essence of your being and my being making sense. If it makes sense, then we look for love. Um, compatibility to me is important because compatibility requires you understanding me, all of me. One process is understanding all of me and two, understanding that what you understand about me, does that make sense to you? Those are my two parts. So you've probably done a good job of understanding me. Now you have to be honest with yourself. Do I make sense for you? The moment we understand that part, then we talk about love. Until then, I don't have conversations about love typically before understanding compatibility. How do you feel about relationship goals and me and somebody's son? Oh God. Top 10 things, top 10 worst things than black people have ever invented on the internet. And we've invented a lot of good things. The somebody's son concept is not something where, it's not like, I. here's how I understand the somebody's son hashtag to be is, you take an imagery, of this fine ass relationship. You create a list of that relationship and then assume it to be yours. That assumption is deadly. So I am not, I'm not a huge fan of somebody's son. What was the other hashtag again? Relationship goals. Relationship goals. I, I do not aspire to have another person's relationship in any way, shape or form. I aspire to have mine and what makes sense between me and my partner. So it's not, it's not, because it's not going to be the same. It's not. Do you, do you all really think that this generation of women is worse than the last? So we're not worse, different. It's not worse. It's not worse. It's different. Um, the men that understood the relationship of the past are not the men today. Um, so, but it, it, it's different because, as I mentioned earlier, what I understood to be a family structure, because what I understand to be a family structure is typically 95% of what I want now. Actually, I take a step back. I'll probably say 80% because I'm trying to fine tune some things. But typically what I've grown up to have is what I typically want in a new relationship, give or take, right? But the person in this imagery is not the woman in real life <laughs> because women have changed. So that difference needs to be analyzed. I don't know if it's a situation of specific relationships or is this, is this a conversation that can happen overall as actually, I know the answer to that. It's a conversation that we need to understand as black people in general. Um, but not for me, my short answer to that, if I need to elaborate, I can, but my short answer to that is no, it's just, it's just different. And it's awkwardly different because it's not good or bad. It's just something that's not as easily. We're trying to unlearn, learn, unlearn and relearn in a very short amount of time with no role models to get this to get this in new information from we are literally inventing shit from scratch and i don't think we understand how crazy that thing is we are inventing new ways of relationships we're accepting different structures of relationships so because of that difference is a matter of really sitting down and saying, this changes that are happening, does it really make sense for us today? So yeah, not worse, just different. 
Are men intimidated by women who make more money than them? I'm not, personally. But I've heard women say, yeah, I'm not intimidated by a woman who makes more money than me. My money is my money. Is that because you feel financially secure? Exactly. That's exactly why. If I'm worried about my bank account, I don't give a fuck about her bank account. But I kind of do, low key. Because we don't know the answer to what needs to be done with her quote unquote bank account. So in my, in my, in my opinion, the, the way I think about that answer is, am I worried about how black women make money? No. I, I honestly wish you, but I want you to make, I want, want to see more black female millionaires and billionaires. It's necessary. Um, but if you are you talking specifically in a relationship, or are you just talking in general? Like, okay, am I worried about just a black woman making more money than me in general? In a relationship. In a relationship, I huh? That's what you should have said. Specifically in a relationship, of course, it's cool. In a relationship, do I care if it's over? To, if we both make over two hundred thousand dollars, I don't think I would care at that point. If she makes over two hundred thousand, if we you both make, make over two hundred, oh, I'm together, care. if the yeah. income's together, no, no, separately. If she makes for whatever she does, makes it's over two hundred, and whatever I make is over two hundred. That number, I don't know. I don't think it's important to me at that point. Less than that, we kind of because it's not the number; it's about how you're getting it, the time and resources you're taking to get it. Because we have to have honest conversations. What type of families are we trying to create? And that's why I don't have a specific answer because it needs to, I need to know the type of families we're creating to know that, okay, if you're doing this thing that's taking a lot of your time and resources to make this amount of money, but we're talking about this type of family that requires time and attention, then we have a conflict. So it's not the money, but the time and resources you're taking to get there and how it's maybe affecting the time and resources needed for our family to grow. That's, that's the fine line for me. It's not the money. I don't care about the numbers, but I care about what you're doing outside of the family if what we're trying to do in the family is also important to you. But if you were to make over 200000 and she makes less than that, now your time and resources are also being taken away from the family, that dynamic is acceptable to you? You feel like that would work better? What's my responsibility to the family to make sure the family is okay, right? If I can do it in nine to five and then come back home and do my thing, then I'm doing my thing. That is my traditional male model of how I'm supposed to support my family. And if it's 200K, like, you know, 200K, I, I mean, if you want to work, that's cool. If I'm making 200K, I'm not expecting my wife to work. Is not because what are you working with? Is it for finances? It can't be because not, because I'm taking care of that. So what are you what are you doing? Are you working because it's more so like I mean, if you're a doctor or you have you have a specialty and whatever the case may be? Okay, I think that's a little different. But eighty percent of why we do what we do is because of finances. So let's just be honest about that. If you're working because you want to make money and you think that making that money makes you feel Better. I'm not looking for that type of woman. I'm looking for a woman who can take care of everything else because I will take care of the finances. Do y'all prefer natural women? Body, face, hair, et cetera? Yeah. Yes. No, I, I, the reason why I don't want to elaborate because it's just that simple. I don't, do, I don't want a woman where that's not, I don't, you know, I want it to be natural, everything natural. That's my, like, because if I'm, if I'm, okay, so here is the technicality of that. Is, you're talking about in a relationship, or is this as just you existing on my end, and I'm existing on your side, we're just black people? In terms of physical attraction. I'm, I'm attracted to, for the most part, naturally, women, natural women. I would say. No other stuff. If that makes sense. Okay. Why is it so hard for you all to be honest and transparent about your intentions? 
<sighs> about our intentions for a relationship? About your intentions. If you intend to be physically involved with the lady, why is it so hard for you to be open and honest about that? Or if your intentions are to be more than that, romantically involved, why is it so hard for you to be honest about whatever your intentions are? So, one of the problems I've had personally, this is just me, personal conversation, is that historically speaking, I have been in a position where we end up being at two different places. It's not how it starts, but how it's kind of going after a year or so. It's, hey, I'm on this level. Why aren't you here? Or you realize at a certain time that you're dating a woman who practically, to, to long story short, she's, you, fit, you fit some type of model in her, in her head of what she needs for herself versus taking you for who you are and deciding her compatibility to you. What typically then happens is, okay, you fit 80% of me, that 20% let's change it. Change is not the problem, but the change has to be with the person and how it, it makes sense to your conscious and how it makes sense to your story. You can't change a person because you want them to be a certain way. You demand a change because it makes them better. And if they're better, you are better. And I found it difficult sometimes to meet women where I don't feel myself versus playing a role in her life. And that's why it's become, that's why it's a little difficult for me to be open and sometimes trusting when it comes to Black women, because I'm not allowed the time to be myself in that relationship. 